On Thursday night, hundreds poured into the Tanjung Paga railway station in its final hours before it got closed for good. As of July the 1st, the station will cease to serve as a gateway to and from Malaysia. Malayan Railway or KTM trains will now stop at the Woodlands train checkpoint. In the days preceding to the station's closure, many Singaporeans and Malaysians have already started coming to Tanjung Paga to view the station for one last time. For some, it was hard not to get emotional, such as this pair of friends who made the journey from Kuala Lumpur. Very, very sad. Very sad. That's why we came all the way from KL to uh, bid farewell to our Tanjung Paga station. Some of us got relatives here also. Uh, that's what... That's what the memories lah that time. So now it's quite the uh, you know it's going to be like a uh, we get to leave them. Uh, it's far from them to come here lah. It's quite difficult lah. Uh. Not only we Malaysians are said that today is going to be the last day, but you see the amount of Singaporeans giving the full support. I think ninety percent of Singaporeans. Singaporeans. Ah, uh, these are common people. You know the you people know, Singapore. They like they like them, this place. They also they like to maintain this place. In fact, we are proud that Singaporeans have given full support for this final day lah. Very proud of it. One KTM staff was even on hand to give a brief history lesson to anyone curious about the station's history. Semua orang berasa sedih. Semua orang berasa sedih sebab uh, kereta api sampai ke Singapura merupakan satu pengangkutan ataupun sinonim senon- dengan uh, keadaan sekeliling maupun di, di Singapura maupun uh, masyarakat kita di Malaysia. And as the last train pulled into Tanjung Paga station, a huge crowd gathered at the platform to catch a last glimpse of the locomotive. I've been taking this train since the 50s. My first train trip was in 1950s. Your first train trip was in 1950s? 1950s. Oh, that's a very long time ago. Long time ago. 60s. By the 60s, brought the children over. Uh, by the 70s, uh, different. <laughs> At 11 p.m. sharp, the last train departed from Tanjung Paga station, carrying 500 passengers in 12 coaches. In the driver's seat was Sultan Ibrahim Iskandar of Johor, who made the trip to Singapore especially to drive the last train out of the railway station. So, what do you feel about the uh, Sultan driving the train today? It's okay, total good. See how nice is it? It's more clean. Eh? Is, this, is this the way it's supposed to be driven? Sure, that's the way. Because usually, uh, when we run the train, uh, very smoothly. Very smooth, that's it. Because to be a uh, driver of KTM, he can drive like aeroplane. No shaky. That's why, I don't know why. The Sota drive very nice. And it was not just the old who felt a connection with the station. This station's been part of my life for like about three years now because I, I'm a train enthusiast and I really like to like spot trains over here and, and like sometimes like during holidays or what. So it's like it's a very unique experience. Uh, for, uh, like, but it's quite sad for me now that at least like there will be no more KTM just going into this between Tajabaga and Woodland. So it's like very, it's very sad because part of my life is really torn away from for me. Some 2,000 people turned up at the Tanjung Paga railway station to bid farewell to this monument of memories. And dozens of onlookers had lined themselves along the tracks to wave at the passing train. None missed the significance of this locomotive rumbling by. That this train would not pass this way again.